Welcome back to Pennsylvania. Today we're at Bushy Run Battlefield. It's about 45 minutes east of Pittsburgh. There's about two miles of trail here, and we also find a geocache today. Um, lots of interesting structures and history, so hope you enjoy it. There were a lot of unmarked trails here, so it was good to have the map with me. I'll put it up on the screen here so you can see exactly what I mean. But yeah, it was just a lot of trails and really confusing, so good to have a map if you go here. This wall here is pretty big. I don't know, at least 20 feet up. Cool. I think there's at least two geocaches um, somewhere on this trail, so hopefully we'll be able to find them both today. These look to be some pretty old woods, just how tall everything is. All right, so this trail's taken us kind of down further on a side path here. We're trying to find uh, the first of at least two geocaches today. So hopefully down here at the end of this trail will be the first one. First cache of the day looks to be down in through here, down in there somewhere, so it's where we're heading. And for the first cache of the day. Oh, almost fell. I think we're probably pretty close right here. All right, it says I'm like four feet from it here, so searching for it. Do you see it? You can pause the video if you want. I'm going to zoom in on it. Right there. So we're going to go get this, sign it, then uh, put it back. Alright, so let's get in here. Let's get this guy out. Ammo can. And uh, we'll go ahead and sign it here. Okay, uh, the log is completely soaked. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to sign that. You can see it here. Just totally drenched. But this is the cache. And uh, all kinds of little neat trinkets and stuff in there. Unfortunately, like I was saying, can't really sign it, but that's okay. Yeah, proof that I found it and opened it anyways. So, all right, put it back. And then we'll be on the way. I think that's the spot. Uh, it might've been there, but that looks good there. Okay, back to the trail and back to the battlefield. This side trail goes uphill a ways here, but I wanna take it to its limit and uh, make sure I'm not missing out on anything 
cool at the top, so up we go. This one was kind of brutal hill-wise. I don't know if you can see that hill, but yeah. I'm just gonna get to the top of this and then turn it around once we hit the end of this trail. And we'll go explore the rest of the battlefield. All right, we're coming out of the woods at the top of the side trail and into an open field here. What's this? Memorial. And yeah, we're out at the top of this side trail. So nice little spot to take a short break. Looks like maybe there's a parking lot down in here, so we'll take it the whole way down to the parking lot and then we'll uh, go back into the woods. Truth is, I'm not sure where I am right now, but I just kind of followed that trail to its logical end and there's just all this other stuff here so I want to check this out and then we'll go potentially back and find the actual trail. So this must be the museum but uh, yeah, it's closed right now it's open at 12. So I just looked at the map somehow we circled around cut across down through the woods and museums there other trails are there but we're gonna head out here and see what this is. Here we ended up in an open field area. You can see there's a couple trees, but mainly open field. There were some historical signs. I'll make a small compilation of those and put those at the end of the video. And there's also gonna be some different memorials and things like that. Got some cattails down in there. This kind of just took me out to a parking lot besides a lawn care place. And uh, looks like there's a trail right there. So I'm gonna be heading over to that trail and I think that's gonna take me down to the next spot we wanna go, which is the Kind of the other half of the battlefield. I think we've seen most of this half. Um, I'm not sure how we got here, 
But I'm just gonna keep following the map and uh, we'll see where this takes us. This one sort of goes both ways, so I'll just pick a direction. I guess we'll just pick a direction. That was a cool little pine tree behind us there. We're just kind of in open field now. All kinds of different terrains on this walk. I like this one. Pick a direction, I guess, huh? Three ways there and the way we just came from. All right, so we're trying to get to this second geocache. Um, I'll put it in the corner of the screen here so you can see about where it is. <coughs> Excuse me. The second one looks to be up this path a ways. Uh, I kind of planned this out so that I would go in a loop around the park and uh, still get hopefully three out of three geocaches. So we'll see. Looks to be private property over there. Man, I'll zoom in so you can see it. Somebody's got a hunting stand right there. All right, this geocache should be around this turn somewhere, so we're gonna start looking. I think if I want this one, I have to go back this. Uh, there's a little trail there that will take me back into the woods, but I gotta go through these plants with the bees. So, we'll see. Please don't get surrounded by bees. Right. I'm fairly certain it's back in here. I'm on a deer path. I'm looking. Hmm. Look a little more. Just watch your step. I gotta come back for that one in the winter. I was back in there, but there were yellow jackets on the flower plants right above my head. Three or four of them, so, uh, you know, I'd only be so I'm out of here. Uh, maybe we'll find the next one. <laughs> Two out of three wouldn't be bad. All right, we're coming around the bend here and I think we'll soon be back at the road and then we'll have to cross and there's a whole nother half of this park to explore. So there goes the green pathways. I think this is taking me back into the woods in order to get back on the trails. So here we go. Now there's just so many different ways and so many trails. So we're just gonna pick one and hope for the best. <sighs> Looks like we got a pavilion of some sorts down here. Let's take a look. Somebody's Eagle Scout project from 2011. Look at the size of this tree here, this trunk. Look how big this tree stump is. Cool. Good thing I got a map. <laughs> um, I don't know. Try this way, I guess. Oh, spider there. I walked into him. I don't know if this is visible, but this is some steep downhill here. Nobody's been on this path in a long time. 
This is the second spider. Oh, I don't know if you can see him. He's kind of blurry, but he's there. You see that? That's a spider and he's blocking this path. There's two of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to duck. Ugh. I hope I don't trip him. Okay. Made it. So, I guess nobody comes down this way. <laughs> Up there's where we came from. Going down into this ooh, ravine here. Now I'm starting to hear people, so I think I'm getting slightly closer. Here's another split. <laughs> I guess they all go to the same place in the end. All right, so we're gonna try and find this other geocache. So we'd have a two out of three day, which is pretty good in my head. So onward, I can see it's just the same <laughs> trail as before. Not much exciting going on here at the moment. I see a building out through the woods there. So I think we're getting here car too. So I think we're getting closer back to maybe where we started, or at least we're heading in the direction of this last geocache. All right, let's go up here and see what this building's all about, I guess. Not sure if it's uh, someone's cabin or part of the thing. Oh, nope, it's part of the thing. Here we go. Almost looks like a spot to put a like a rifle through. I'm not sure if that's actually what it's for, but it certainly looks like it. Not sure how this worked, but uh down there's a parking lot where we started, so I'm not sure how I ended up here, but that was pretty cool. I'm gonna grab some pictures of these signs yet before we head out, I think. This has been Bushy Run Battlefield. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.